the bills that we're going to discuss are, are authored by yours truly, SBN 1970, entitled an act def deferring the increase in contribution of the Social Security System amending Social 4A9 uh, of the Republic Act number also known as the Social Security Act uh, 2018. I would say right away that it should be entitled an act allowing the president to defer the increase in contribution of the Social Security system amending section 4 during times of emergencies. That should be the title uh, and I, I will, I will, uh, we will, we will uh, say that, right? And then you have SBN 1968, an act, uh, act mandating the suspension of the scheduled increase in field health premium contributions amending for the purpose of Section 10 of Republic Act Number 11223, otherwise known as the Universal Health Care Act, and for other purposes. And SBN 1965, an act mandating the suspension of the scheduled increase in Social Security contribution rate amending for the purpose of Section 4 of the Republic Act Number 11199, otherwise known as the Social Security Act of 2018 and for other purposes. With apologies to Senator Poe, Tiberia and Villanueva, they authored SBN 1968. SBN 1965, again, is authored by Second Senator Villanueva. And SBN 1996, entitled an act granting the President of the Philippines the power to suspend the scheduled increases in Social Security system contribution rates amending for the purpose Republic Act number 11199, otherwise known as the Social Security Act of 2018, introduced by Senator Revilla. I surmise that uh, this should be the title of my own uh, provision, which I will uh, correct uh, forthrightly. Uh, I'd like to recognize the presence of uh, Senator uh, Villar. Thank you for coming, uh, Senator Cynthia, and of course, Senator Joel Villanueva. Again, thank you for coming. A pleasant good morning. Uh, a biblical day to you, uh, as usual. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, and may we ask our committee secretary, Mrs. Eleni, and you, Terry. Terry Mirasol, sir. I always call her Terry. I never call her Terry. <laughs> Mirasol, to recognize her guest before we proceed. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, for the record, sir, uh, we have from uh, Department of Labor, Attorney Asik, Asik Philip Paredes from Legal and Overseas Operations, Dole. Morning, Mr. Chairman. Morning, Senators. Uh, and may, I ask the, may I ask all everybody to put on your video so I can we can see you and recognize you properly. Thank you. Uh, uh, Miss uh, Miss Queen Teres Espinas from uh, uh, Senior Labor and Employment Officer from SSS. PCEO Aurora Cruz Ignacio, together with EVP Rizal Di Capulo, uh, SVP Edgar V. Cruz from Actuarial Services, EVP GDC, Brands Operations Sector, uh, EVP El Elvira Alcantara Rizari, Corporate Services Center, Attorney Volter Agas, Chief Legal Counsel and SVP, Legal and Enforcement Group, Attorney Joseph Isonia, Department Manager, Le Legislative Affairs, Ms. Colette Cordial, Manager, Corporate Policy and Planning Department, Attorney Eric Manalo, Chief of Staff of PCEO Ignacio, and from uh, ECOP, Represented by Mr. Robert Marunilia, Ms. Cecilia Alba, from Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce, Your Honor, and Ms. Genevieve Bautista, from Semiconductor and Electronic Industries in the Philippines. It would be appreciated if you can raise your hand uh, when your name is called, so I can recognize. Ms. Raquel Espina Bracero from President of the Philippine Association of Services Exporters. Good morning po. Uh, sorry, I cannot open my video, uh, Your Honor. Okay, uh, with uh, Edwina Bates, Chairperson of PASE. 
And from the joint manning group, represented by Mr. Jose Albar Cato, Director and Chairman, JMC Legal and Legislative Cluster. Morning, Mr. Chairman. And we have uh, from the Bureau of Treasury sent by the DOF uh, to observe Ms. Yvette Herrera. That's all, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Sari. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to be this uh, briefing to be this hearing to be brief. It should be simple enough uh, because, as you know, we're all in a pandemic situation, and uh, our people are having a hard time coping. Now, uh, as you know, we authored the bill that would have increased uh, every every year uh, the premiums to be uh paid by the business and the public side and and the private and the uh, employees and uh having said that uh when the pandemic came in a lot of concerns on whether we should go with an increase from 12 percent to 13 percent and uh this representation as i'm sure my fellow senators uh, uh same opinion that uh uh this uh, can be done, but it must not be done at the expense of uh, shortening the lifespan of SSS. And it should not be done, you know, to uh, pro, uh, give a new hardship. So we would need to know uh, uh, the uh, threshold of the SSS in so far as uh, uh, leverage is concerned. There are two points, schools of thought here, the way I look at the bills. One says the president, and that's my opinion, the president should be given the authority during times of emergency uh, to uh, to uh, uh, defer the payment of increased rates uh, by, uh, by, by the members of the SSS. The other one, uh, uh, would, it would appear, would want to see to it that uh, the Senate uh, stops it and... Uh, uh, and uh, uh, suspend the contribution rate from 12 to 13 percent, and uh, you know, uh, so that uh, we could give services to our people. Uh, may I hear uh, the opinions of the other senators? Joel Villanueva, please, or Senator Villar. Uh, Senator Villar, yes. there, I'll give. Uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead, uh, uh, Senator Joel. You're Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, magandang umaga po at mapagpalang umaga sa atin lahat. Happy Bible uh, Week po, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me first uh, thank you and commend you, Mr. Chair, for calling this uh, meeting immediately. I remember you asking uh, on the floor and on the plenary uh, to make sure that we'll be able to act on this uh, immediately. I, I still don't know. We are still in awe on how you work, Mr. Chairman. You will text us at 3 o'clock in the morning and then at 6 o'clock in the morning, you're all texting. I don't know if you still get some sleep, Mr. Chair Air Force, and uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we, we filed uh, Senate Bill Number 1965 to provide a reprieve to our battle-weary workers and employers through the suspension of the mandated increase in Social Security contribution rate in the event of a pandemic. Malinaw na malinaw naman po kasi siguro na uh, uh, sa atin lahat ngayon na uh, kung paano na apektuhan ng COVID-19 pandemic ang ating mga manggagawa at sektor ng negosyo. According to uh, October 2020 Labor Force Survey, the unemployment rate in the country is 8.7%, equivalent to around 3.8 million unemployed Filipinos. This is significantly higher than the unemployment rate in uh, October uh, 2019, which was only at 4.6%. Uh, but an SWS uh, report, uh, survey report in August, uh, 2020 highlighted an even bleaker picture of, on the country's unemployment crisis. Around 27.3 million Filipinos or 45.5% of the labor force losing their jobs during the pandemic. Noong una po, ang akala natin, uh, yung maliliit na negosyo lang ang apektado o tatamaan o tinamaan ng pandemia. Kalaunan, pati nga po yung uh, mga higante, mga manufacturing company, hotel chain, nag-anunsyo na rin na mag-shutdown o yung iba temporary closure. 
many companies implemented alternative work arrangements such as uh, reduction of work days and forced leaves just to stay afloat during the uh, pandemic. As a result po, many of our workers are forced to receive lower take-home pay and compensation. Siyempre po, ginoong uh, chairman, yung uh, una nating naisip ng ating mga kababayan, pwede na dahil pansamantala lang naman. Pero halos isang taon na po ito, uh, yung pansamantalang tiisin, naging uh, pansamantagal, uh, pansamatagal na. So I hope, Mr. Chairman, given the uh, uh, current employment situation of the country as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, there is a need uh, to ensure that workers and companies are able to fully recover or at least recover to have enough resources to do so. Ang gusto lamang po natin mangyari, uh, Mr. Chairman, sana at alam naman po natin na uh, kaya naman itong gawin kung kakayanin, kung, 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 kung may pagnanasa tayong gawin, ay i-defer lang po muna pansamantala yung scheduled increase ng SSS contributions habang may pandemia dahil maliwanag pa po sa sikat ng araw yung katotohanan na makakapag-remit lang ang ating mga kababayan ng SSS kung may trabaho po at pagkakakitaan po sila. So again, Mr. Chairman, thank you uh, uh, for this uh, opportunity. Uh, uh, this uh, initiative of yours, Mr. Chairman, act on it as soon as possible. God bless us all. Thank you. Joel, uh, excellent uh, presentation and I commend you for uh, your caring for uh, all the time for our workers. Uh, as we, uh, is Senator Villar there? Uh, uh, if he's not, uh, we'll proceed with the meeting uh, and later on call her if she, when she comes. Uh, I, I think it, it's very clear to everyone, it is the Senate's desire that we don't unduly burden our workers. Ayaw natin pahirapan yung mga worker na una-una maraming walang trabaho, tumigil yung mga kumpanya, wala silang pambayad. At uh, ang gusto natin ay... Uh, uh, magkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na matulungan uh, sila sa dahil wala pa nga isang taon ito hindi pa ngayon lang tayo mag increase sa katotoo lang no? so yun ang, yun ang situation I would now like to ask the SSS uh, ang dami ninyo dapat hindi kanya karami simple simple batas ito isang, isang damakbak kayong dumarating dito eh, nakakagulat kayo ah. uh, sino ba magsasalita sa SSS dito para malaman natin kung anong posisyon ninyo who is your principal spokesman? Is Baby there? Uh, um, as, uh, President Ignacio, are you there? I open my unmute. Uh, good good yes, morning, Mr. Uh, Sen. SSS uh, President Aurora Ignacio, Baby. Okay, looking good. But anyway, uh, what is the position of SSS? I okay. spoke with you about this. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I'm here, Mr. Senator. I'll just shift to another um, computer, please. Yes. That's all right. So long as you're here. It's a very relative, uh, easy proposition. Uh, we either suspend or we either leave it to the president to decide. In other words, the Senate does not take action, but we empower the president during times of emergency uh, to intervene in the... Uh, in this uh, in uh, uh, emergency, uh, the bill of Senator uh, Joel Villanueva initially that was my position, and I started, with it, but I thought uh, we should leave it to the executive to make it happen uh, by on its own. It, it's the same ending anyway. Uh, if the president is sensitive, he will do whatever is uh, he feels is in the national interest. So obviously, he will know that we cannot allow the SSS to deteriorate in terms of its. Uh, 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 span of life. So, uh, uh, President Baby, uh, can yes, you uh, come now on the morning. position of success? Yes, good morning, Mr. Senator. Um, first, we'd like to thank you for giving us this opportunity to be heard uh, in this hearing. Um, I'm sorry, uh, I cannot be seen because uh, there's something wrong with the video uh, in the unit I'm using. Um, but we'd like to thank you, of course, for giving us this opportunity to share the thoughts and the positions of the um, SSS in, as regards to the several bills that were proposed uh, in the Senate, um, either to defer or stop. But I understand your position, Mr. Senator, that um, um, you are, of course, inclined as your bill um, 
proposed um, to give authority to the Senate, to the President, to issue a uh, department depending on how he sees fit. Um, but um, we'd like to also mention that uh, we'd like to say that um, hopefully we are um, asking for an appeal to your uh, honorable group to allow us to implement um, the increase. Um, at the outset, would like to state that the bills are um, proposed will tend to um, imperil probably on a permanent or uh, temporary basis the sustained benefits of the members and uh, the benefits that are supposed to go to the members, sir. Currently, the long-term solvency of SSS is already threatened with trillions of unfunded liability. In simple terms, there is insufficient fund to enable us to support payment for the next generation of pensioners. Um, Mr. Senator, may we have some slide to show uh, for information, if you will allow us. Please proceed, but before you... I, I, just need, uh, I just need you to answer a question. Right now, because we have increased, I understand we have increased the life uh, span of SSS up to uh, 2056. Is that correct? 2054. 2054, 54, Mr. Senator. 54. So that's a lot of years from now. Yeah. So yes. uh, we're looking at that. Uh, and... Uh, uh, the increase anyway, uh, tatamaan talaga yung employee, yung employees. Anong gagawin natin kung wala sila trabaho? Paano sila magbabayad? Kailangan tingin natin yan. At saka employers, kung hindi naman tumatako. So now, we're looking at a situation where uh, Mr. five years. So go ahead and make your presentation so we can ask you the right question. Yes, Mr. Senator. Go ahead, please. Yes, uh, Mr. Senator, as regards to the, the one you mentioned earlier, um, if there is no, uh, if the employees uh, doesn't have work or the companies um, has temporarily stopped, they will be, they are not um, compelled to, to pay the SSS contribution at that time and they can resume once they have um, worked already, Mr. Senator. But uh, uh, that's how it is. Uh, if they are out of work, they will not be compelled to pay the SSS contribution. That's very clear, but uh, obviously, if they have work, they can they can obviously pay. No? And even if they yes. don't have work, if they can afford, they can also pay, right? Uh, yes. If they yes, can Mr. afford Senator. it. Uh, so please proceed. Yes, sir. Um, at the outset, uh, we'd like to state that the provisions of the bill um, tend to imperil the sustained payments of benefits. Uh, the slides will show um, more or less the statements that I'm saying, sir. And currently, the long-term solvency of SSS is already threatened with trillions in unfunded liability. In simple terms, there is insufficient fund to enable us to support payment for the next generation of pensioners. It would when take decades. Excuse me, when you say generation, that's 20 years. Um, right. You count the generation by 20. Sir, we're looking at about 30, 40 years. 30, 40 years. All right. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Um, it would take decades of reforms implementation before we can make any significant dent on the unfunded liability. They must be implemented slowly and gradually. Delaying this implementation of any reform will worsen an already dire financial institution. And the longer the adjustment contribution rate is delayed, the higher the contribution rate will be need, will be that needs to be implemented. The new contribution schedule in the SSS Charter is a long overdue reform. SSS has increased its pension benefit 25 times, while it adjusted contribution rate only 8 times to date. The SSS has likewise expanded benefits with no con corresponding additional funding. These are the additional 1,000 monthly benefit allowance in 2017 implemented, expanded maternity benefit, and the unemployment insurance benefit. The SSS, therefore, respectfully appeals for support to our position not to defer the implementation of the 2021 scheduled adjustments. By implementing the scheduled increase in member contributions, the SSS will gain the opportunity to address its dire financial position. Specifically, this action will enable the institution to generate new funding in the amount of $41.37 billion, 
realized a projected fund surplus starting at 27.22 billion in year 2021 if the reforms are not implemented. SSS is projected to experience deficit in the amount of 14.9 billion in the same year and stop the further buildup of unfunded liability. The additional monthly contributions are relatively small. They range from 50 15 pesos to 100 pesos for employed members, <clears throat> from 30 pesos to 200 pesos for self-employed and voluntary members, and from 80 pesos to 200 pesos for OFW members. But these amounts will redound eventually to proportionately larger benefits to members in the future. At this time of the COVID pandemic, when members and pensioners have clamored for heightened benefits, including allowable loans, we would like we would expect that proposed measures should clearly strengthen the SSS, not weaken the institution financially. Stopping the collection of the new amounts would prevent SSS from achieving its long-term goal of solvency and financial stability. As administrators of the SSS fund, we take very seriously the obligations reposed upon us by the SSS charter. This is the time for national solidarity for our Bayanihan spirit to support the People's Social Security Program. We therefore urge everyone to join us as we continue to perform faithfully and more effectively our fiduciary duty to shore up capacities in the SSS and secure the members in times of unwanted shock situations and contingencies in their lives. We earnestly reiterate our request to your honors to support our efforts to vitalize the SSS and better serve our current and future members. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Senator and the committee members. Uh, 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 Ms. Madam President, is that in, there is no legislative fiat to suspend it. No? Uh, wag galawin. Pero kailangan rin naman, bigyan natin ng uh, uh, puwang ang Presidente dahil uh, kung nakikita niya na yung natitira ng babayad ay mahihirapan, siya na rin ang magdi-decide kung uh, isususpend yun. Uh, would you pay for that uh, position better? Um, I guess so. Uh, it's a better proposition than the pairing, Mr. Senator. Yeah, I agree if with you. Choices. I don't know whether Secretary Villanueva agrees with you. Uh, uh, in between <laughs> biting Chicharron and Bulacan. Uh, go ahead, uh, Joa. <laughs> It's Mr. Chairman from Bukawe, Mr. Chairman. Bukawe, that's right. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, uh, first of all, let me put on record that uh, the desire and the intention of this representation is to ensure that we'll be able to suspend um, uh, the increase um, temporarily, Mr. Chairman. And whether we are empowering the president or authorizing the president to do that or, or we say right now we need to, to suspend it, um, uh, because of the pandemic, then I, I'm okay with that, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to react one uh, re, uh, uh, quickly, Mr. Chairman, uh, dun sa narinig natin kanina, yung walang trabaho, hindi naman sila magbabayad ng SSS. Dalawa lang po ngayon yung sitwasyon natin. Yung isa, nagsaradong mga kumpanya at wala mga trabaho na mga workers. Yun know, yung sitwasyon nila. Talagang lugmok, nakakaawa at Wala na ho, pilay na pilay na po. Walang trabaho, wala rin negosyo. Yung pangalawang sitwasyon po, nagsasakripisyo. May trabaho at mayroong negosyo. Yung may trabaho at may negosyo, sa halip na, na, na hindi na natin sila i-burden out, eh bibigyan pa natin sila ng additional burden na isipin ako. May dagdag gastos ako. Sa halip po na tulungan natin, bibigyan pa natin ng dagdag na burden, dagdag na gastos. Yun lang po. I think it's 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 crystal clear, and I hope uh, we do something about it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, we intend to do something about it with your help, Senator Villanueva. Uh, I think uh, that yung mga nawala ng trabaho, uh, dahil dito sa bagong batas na ginawa natin, meron na sila ngayon unemployment insurance, di ba? Na umaabot hanggang uh, 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 magkano? Uh, can the president of the SSS help me out? How much is the minimum unemployment insurance? 20,000. 20,000. 20, Mr. Senator? Yes. unemployment insurance? Uh, it's 20,000, uh, Mr. Senator. 20,000. For, for two months. 
for two months. So, yes. uh, Senator Villanueva, please take note, uh, ginawa natin yung batas na yan. Uh, Tinitinyan ko lang kung alam ni Baby Kasha yung kanya yung bibigay. <laughs> Medyo may kaya pagka 2020, that's 40,000. May pantawid siya, pero kailangan maghanap ka agad ng bagong trabaho. Yan ang kailangan. Kaya uh, Senator Villanueva will appreciate the fact na my spirited and passionate uh, you know, uh, position against yung mga incentivizing uh, uh, our uh, uh, our Especially economic reports. But nonetheless, uh, they're okay so far as that is concerned. Are there any other comments uh, from the business sector? Uh, uh, which position do you want to take? Uh, let the president do it? Or, uh, quite frankly, I, I don't believe that we are nimble enough in the Senate uh, to act when there is an emergency because the daang ka sa dalawang houses. Eto, uh, we will just be. Uh, during uh, times of pandemic, uh, during times of emergencies, the president is empowered to suspend for a period of time. Ang nilagay natin dyan ay six months kung di ko nagkakamali. Gusto ba ninyong ganun katagal o iklihan pa natin yung sinasabi na yan? Any comments from the others, please? What is the position of business? Mr. Maronida, are you representing business? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm representing the Employers' Confederation of the Philippines. Do you support? Do you agree yes. with the president? Or you want the legislature to mandate a suspension? Mr. Chairman, whether uh, it's through the president or through the legislation, we, uh, we uh, support the deferment of the increase. But... Of course, it's better if uh, it's done uh, soonest, Mr. Chairman. Well, if the president is the one who is the one who's going to uh, make the suspension or deferment, you have more leeway because uh, uh, that's the executive doing their job. But if the Senate says suspend it right away, uh, eh, SSS. that's just my personal opinion. Uh, and... Uh, Siyempre kayo, gusto nyo masuspend dahil hindi kayo magbabayad. Pero dapat, uh, talaga ang kailangan ay uh, preserve, ay kaya nga doon sa law, preserve the legitimes. No? Yung mga mamanahin ng tao. Ito, pinipreserve natin, yung makukuha ng tao sa SSS uh, pagka nag-retire o pagka namatay o kaya pagka nawala sila ng trabaho. So, uh, I will take it that your position will be uh, ambivalent and uh, my, again, uh, uh, I'm sure kami ni Senator Villanueva, we're, we're quite comfortable with uh, either having the president uh, do it. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, we can we can decide that as soon as possible para hindi na nag-aalangan ang SSS. Di ba? Uh, are there any questions or suggestions or comments or amendments that you want to do in the bill? Any of you? Uh, is that Senator Bongo? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. So anyway, uh, so your your silence is deafening. Uh, so would you like me to ask you each individually what your position is? Uh, I would prefer that you speak out or forever hold your peace. Mr. Chairman, if I may, just to make the uh, discussion more interesting, uh, may we may we know what what particular law was I mean uh, uh, bill uh, was passed by the House of Representatives? It's, is it by uh, authorizing the president or or uh, or uh, the legislative uh, uh, action of the two houses? Is that what they they passed just recently? I I, I recall. Well, having uh, having come from the house, I appreciate your position. Talagang kayo mga magbarkadahan kayo dyan. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, uh, we can settle that in the bike. But I, I think they're in favor of uh, uh, temp automatic cessation pagka may emergency. Which automatic. Okay. 
could Again, be Chairman, uh, very dangerous for the I, I withdraw with opinion. whatever we decide here. And uh, the, again, the main goal is just to temporarily suspend the increase, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Right, 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 right. Uh, I think uh, right now it's a go uh, for those who can afford and nobody pays if they don't have work. So if the president sees it fit, uh, according to uh, the recommendations of the uh, Chairman Sano Dominguez, uh, as well as, uh, as uh, President Baby Alonto. Baby, you're the president, right? Sir Ignacio Po, Sir Senator Baby Ignacio, <laughs> Baby Alonto. Uh, baby Alonto is a princess uh, who's a friend of mine. I, 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 I know very few babies. I'm a queen, Mr. <laughs> Senator. <laughs> In other words, you're the rising sun. All right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, with the permission of Khan, para matapos sa tayo dito kagad, because marami pa tayong natalakain, tiliin ko na lang ang opinion na, I think yung opinion naman ni Secretary Baby, ni President Baby, is uh, is uh, uh, covered by the actuarial, uh, the actuary of uh, SSS. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Secretary, Mr. Senator. Is Saldi there? Uh, uh, Saldi, Saldi, Saldi and uh, our actuary, chief of actuary is um, attorney Ed yes, Cruz is here also. Attorney? Ed, Cardo, Ed, Ed? Ed Cruz is here also. Edgar Cruz? Yes. Okay, uh, can we, may we hear from you? Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you. As uh, our president said, um, we, we acknowledge that the uh, contribution hike will uh, add a little burden uh, to our uh, employers and, wor and workers. But at the same time, um, uh, the fact is we are asking this hike only for those who are able to do so. The, the, the employers that are operating and the workers that still have their jobs. Uh, note po, uh, to the concern of the employers group that uh, their share is only 0.5% of the increase. Uh, and this 0.5% is, is tax, tax deductible as an expense. So in, in effect, they're only paying 35% of that. The national government is doing its share by providing the uh, tax deduction. Uh, the same thing goes, uh, is true for the employees spot because whatever their additional uh, contribution is, that 0.5%, um, that's that's a deduction to their taxable income. Ang, ang point ko po dito, Mr. Chair, is that um, this is a whole of nation, a whole of nation uh, effort. The employers who are able to, the employees who are working, the national government, we're all in this. Because the, the government alone and its agencies uh, are not sufficient to. Uh, to battle this pandemic. Kailangan po talaga natin ang contribution sa mga mamamayan. Um, it's, it's the true spirit by any hand. We're asking them a little sacrifice, but that in the long run will benefit the entire membership of SSS. Hindi lang po for the future, but yung short term, mga dis, uh, disability and unemployment claims. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I think, I think we're not saying that those, the, those employers who can pay the contribution as well as those employees who are employed in those uh, companies will stop paying. They will continue. Lang because this is going to be a stretch. Could be five years. La 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 situation. Uh, ang mangyayari, masyadong hirap na dahil uh, yung pambili natin, baka bumabang pambili. Ngayon, marami nang sinasabi. I'm sure uh, Senator Villanueva is always up to date in terms of food prices and how it affects the uh, employees of our country and the poor people of our country, eh talaga lang dapat tingnan natin kung ano ang gagawin natin to alleviate their pain. So, to my mind, uh, the quickest way uh, is to have a nimble uh, department like the executive, the president himself, can come in so far as uh, helping those who already have jobs but are nonetheless still having a hard time uh, if, you, uh, if you accept my drift. So, uh, walang problema doon sa may trabaho uh, pero kung mahihirapan na the president can step in and uh, either defer or uh, uh, go back to the old rate it is up to him to do that but in so far as those that have no work well pag nabayaran na yan ng 20,000 or 40,000 
Ang tapos ang obligation natin, nabawasan pa yung lifetime ng SSS dahil doon. So we just have to make a determination how we're going to proceed with us. Uh, am I reading the uh, tea leaves correctly? Uh, President Baby, uh, Senator Villanueva, uh, uh, is that the way you think? Uh, yeah. So uh, my position, therefore, uh, and I'm subject to the... Uh, to my friend and uh, dear colleague uh, Joel Villanueva and the rest of the committee, would be to make it more nimble and uh, uh, and leave it to the president in consultation with the SSS when they have to make take any action uh, on uh, suspending or deferring uh, the increase. Uh, would that be amenable to everybody? So much so that uh, the way you will be uh, as follows. Uh, uh, the President of the Philippines shall have the power to suspend or defer the implementation of increases in uh, in contribution rates of the Social Security system mandated in this section by virtue of an order issued solely in times of a duly declared state of national emergency or a state of calamity for a period not exceeding six months. So, hanggang six months na yan sa proposal natin sa akin, no? uh, which may be extended to another six months upon determination by the President that further extension of the suspension of implementation of increases is necessary to, to protect public interest and welfare. So, uh, would that be amenable uh, to everyone, uh, including Secretary, Senator Villanueva, please? Chairman, we are uh, for it. Uh, again, the uh, main goal here is to temporarily suspend the increase. And uh, I would like to uh, point out what you mentioned a while ago. Hindi po natin pinipigil yung pag pagre-remit sa SSS. Continuous pa rin po yan. Continuous uh, sacrifice yung hinihingi natin sa ating mga manggagawa at employers. Because even without the increase, they are already sacrificing, Mr. Chair. And uh, thank you for pointing that out. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, uh, deferring it to the president is, uh, I think, uh, the faster way to react to a situation. Anyway, it's limited uh, uh, to six months. Unless you want to shorten it to three months, uh, that's okay by me. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, we're giving our respect to the SSS uh, so that they can lobby with the president and make their appeal there. Uh, I think uh, the, the Congress can... Uh, the Congress, uh, it's just my personal belief, uh, uh, should not, uh, uh, you know, clap them in irons as to whether uh, we will say, oh, suspend you muna, because una -una, we're not as nimble on our feet as the President is. Uh, thank you, Senator Vigilano, for your position, for supporting the position. I appreciate it. Uh, 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 President Baby, are you okay with that? Um, sir, uh, Mr. Senator, um, you mentioned a while ago, uh, it is temporary and it's, uh, the proposed in your bill is six months. And you also mentioned it's possible for three months. Of course, if we have the choice, uh, the, the, our original position, of course, is, uh, not to defer, but, uh, the shorter the, the deferment, uh, if there are no, is there no other choice? It would be better if three months. But that's uh, just uh, my thought, it's, sir. It's up to the president to say, I'll do it for three months or two months. Yes. So one month. We'll see. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a very flexible six months, in other words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand, Mr. Senator. Uh, are there any other comments on that note? Uh, if there are no other comments, I think we can proceed uh, uh, with the Chair. amendment uh, already stated. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, Joe Katopo from the Ship Owners uh, and oh, yeah, the uh, Association. Yes, uh, Mr. Senator. Uh, since um, I think it's a common consensus that we'll give the free hand to the President, would it also be possible, since we will also have, uh, the SSS will have a chance to lobby their own interests, uh, can the different sectors also give an opinion directly to the president? In as much as perhaps there are some sectors who are hurting more than the others, 
and maybe some are okay. So uh, will that also give the president the free hand to adjust to the different sectors depending on their situations? Then we can add upon consultation with the SSS and uh, uh, other sectors of the economy who may be uh, affected by it, some more severely and some less. We can add that if you like. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Would that be uh, uh, okay with you? Yes, I think that would be best because uh, we're talking of a blanket suspension or a blanket non-suspension. And maybe perhaps, uh, to be fair, also some sectors should be consulted separately depending on their situation. Any president will have to consult because uh, SSS is a very important... Uh, if you ask me, I, I would not even think about it because... I, and I'm sure Joel with United is also for insurance uh, because uh, uh, you know uh, as uh, you all know I I said we should have this slogan and I put it in the bill uh, on the law work save invest prosper uh, you can say work save save insure prosper <laughs> so we should be in that a million times chance na may maipon yung mga tao saka saka din naman yan eh Kung talaga hindi makakabayad, hindi ko lang maibibigay sa kanya na dapat ibayad, di ba? Yun naman yan eh. So I think uh, our democracy allows people to send letters to the president, send it to your favorite senator, send it to your favorite congressman, or send it to the executive secretary, or send it to a senator who is close to the president, like uh, uh, Senator Villanueva is very close to the president, <laughs> and, or the Senate president. So andyan yan. So uh, I think we can, we can do with that. Would that yeah, be okay? Uh, yeah, if I may continue some more. Kasi po, uh, okay lang po yan. Yung makakabayad, babayad. Yung hindi po makabayad, edi huwag na munang magbayad. Kasi po, there's also the aspect of competition. In our, in, in our industry, that is very crucial po. Especially because the ship owners right now, they're incurring a lot of costs for quarantine and the change crew protocols. And some countries are are not increasing in any way. Pagkatapos, dito tayo, mag-increase tayo. So, there's that big possibility po na baka maglilipat po yung mga ship owners natin sa ibang mga bansa. E di kawalan rin po ng Pilipinas. Hindi naman siya. Ganun po mangyayari. Let's not go over Joe. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna move just because of a few hundred pesos. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're gonna move. I disagree uh, with you on that point. No, but we are already seeing that po. For example, in the aspect of the new ship buildings uh, made in China, because of the blockage, uh, we are losing already that niche because most of the ship owners are already hiring Chinese crew kasi hindi, hindi po tayo pwede mag-deploy po sa China, sa kasalukuyan. Tapos yung mga protocols po natin, yung uh, it's good na nga na we're, we're already a change crew hub. But, uh, you know, uh, we're trying to ease up uh, these uh, difficulties. Marami pong mga, mga detalye po na it's very hard to stay here. Kaso competition po in our sector is a very important factor to think about. I, I, I am aware of that. Uh, uh, even the Indians before were eating into our market, the Vietnamese, the Chinese. That's so right, we that's just right. have to make ourselves become better. I don't think, uh, I think you have a very, very important niche. Uh, the Filipino overseas, uh, overseas sailor is very much uh, uh, desired and I'd rather have them uh, rather than uh, some other uh, folks. But again, uh, how much would it uh, affect you if uh, uh, if uh, the increases are... You, you, we all agreed on this when we uh, uh, agreed to increase the contributions. Yeah, Besides, that's, that's true. But for example, uh, presently, right now, uh, in our CBA, the increases will take place, the adjustments will take place by next year, 2022. And, you know, mm -hmm. we can adjust, uh, change our, the owner's budget just now in the middle of, uh, you know, the increase uh, gaps. So, 2022 pa po mag-uusap mag po regarding the increase of salaries. So, kung halimbawa ngayon may implement, eh di, paano na lang yan? Because ang budgets po ng mga owners ay nakafix ngayon sa taong ito. Mga ganun ba? May mga ganun klaseng mga, mga detalye po. So there's nothing that prevents you from meeting earlier in anticipation. You're not handcuffed. You can all uh, meet now. Is well, there something that would prevent you from meeting now? Uh, well, that's a bit difficult because that's, that's held in tripartite internationally. And that's why 
the international bargaining bargaining forum really has set yeah you know a time lapse of two years and the next discussions will be by next year po, towards the end of this year so ganun po, if we're, we're going to implement the increase ngayon, and it has already been implemented at least for this month eh, medyo, ayun na nga, nagka, because remember the seafarers are on the highest level most if not all are on the highest level and you know that many uh, like the cruise ships they are right now you know on the red and many have stopped operations not to mention that also in the regular seafaring market uh, we're also finding difficulties and we're losing also some vessels to you know cheaper nations and to because of the possibility of crew change yun lang po so there are details po na maybe perhaps if we give the president the free hand we can also lobby and uh, ask for a consultation from the different sectors because i'm sure it's not just us there are also other sectors that may be having some of their own uh, peculiarities that uh, maybe the president should be aware about i agree with you and as far as i'm concerned you can lobby with the sss and if the sss doesn't listen to you you can lobby with the president uh that's a it's a free country we can do that uh fair, fair everybody enough. is now subject to all the vicissitudes of uh, the pandemic that's why uh, I, i that's why we are trying to do our best to uh, cope with it and uh, i will just have an advertising for you uh, the red cross is now offering uh, saliva testing which is faster and cheaper uh, oh, so the yeah, yeah, appreciate about that sana po it will be Uh, it will be given sa airport po para sa mga returning OFWs and seafarers natin para the time of quarantining will be short I should, I, there is a, there's a certain bureaucratic uh, you know uh, freeze that always happens you know they're calcified so I already talked with Secretary Duque about this I will talk with everybody na pwedeng gawin sa airport dyan And in fact, we can even do it on your ship when you arrive. Pwede natin kapitin yung barco, bibigyan na lang kayo na saliva. We can do that. Don't worry about it. But that's not the object of the meeting right now. Yeah, we understand. Thank you very much po in advance. Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas for next year. I hope we get better. Are there any other comments, please? Mr. Senator, this is... May I say something to Mr. Cato, just in case we have time? This uh, is Mr. Baby. Uh, Please identify yourself. Baby, baby, sir. Baby Ignacio. Baby, yeah. I moved to the uh, a new gadget. Um, yes, baby. For Mr. Cato, I, with respect to what you're saying, I just wanted to make a quick uh, short comment. The announcement for the contribution was done in 2018. 18 and uh, we made uh, advertisements in 2019 and uh, 2020, 2020. I'm sorry, in 2021 is implementation. The contribution for the OFWs is uh, monthly. It's going to be around two dollars to three dollars. So it's really a very very small amount for the um, manning segment, the OFWs. Just wanted to say that it's um, two to three dollars per month. If yes, all, Mr. Senator. Thank you very much. Yeah, if I may also reply, Madam, that uh, we have to understand that the OFWs, the land-based sector, they're the ones paying their own contributions. Unlike the seafarers, whereby the owners uh, have also that part. And uh, you know, if, even if you say one dollar, you multiply it by four hundred thousand seafarers, then that is a big amount for them, especially at this point in time, whereby everybody is in a crunch then uh, they're going to feel it, especially if you multiply that times 12, times uh, the number of years and times the number of seafarers. So uh, I'm sure you're aware that we have also been very much vocal uh, opposing this. And uh, we, have all ha we have had several suggestions, which unfortunately, you know, didn't pass. But still, um, uh, we're happy that uh, the senator has given the free hand to the president and Maybe perhaps we can have more consultations and discussion in the forum with him, uh, especially for our sector. Not to mention also with the other sectors who may also be experienced. We will put that in, in the bill. We will put that in the uh, in, in the law uh, that says that uh, subject to consultations with the SSS and uh, uh, parties such as the seafarers or whatever. See you, Bob. Thank you very much, Bob. 
See? That's Senator Villanueva's idea, not mine. <laughs> thank you, Senator <laughs> Villanueva. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, if I... I'm just trying to get more chicharron from him because he doesn't give me... He always gives <laughs> Senator Bato the chicharron. <laughs> <laughs> it's always in the lounge, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman, just, just one point that I'd like to... to uh, to request from our SSS uh, friends, Mr. Chairman. A while ago when the uh, SSS president was uh, doing this uh, presentation, actually prepared for, 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 for uh, SSS presentation uh, with the investments and, and everything, but I don't want to prolong the, uh, the, uh, the, the hearing. Mr. Chairman, it's just that when uh, the presentation was being uh, made a while ago, I saw a... a a 10 trillion liability, which to me is a little, uh, uh, I, I'm concerned about it. But uh, may I just ask and request our uh, friends from SSS to give us not just the PowerPoint uh, presentation, but can, can, can we request for a full calculation on the uh, projections on the uh, liability, on the uh, reserves and contributions of uh, members para ho, uh, Mas makita ho natin at uh, talagang uh, makatulong din po tayo sa SSS, no? Thank you. Um, Senator Villanueva, Mr. Chair, may I? Probably. Uh, Sorry, you recognize. Yes. Um, if you want, we can uh, send to you the calculation that's being asked for. Or if you want a short explanation, I can ask uh, our actuary to to discuss a little about the 10 trillion which is our unfunded liability looking forward up to uh, 30 40 years from now uh, send na lang po uh, madam president pa send na lang po sa committee at okay thank you yes thank you mr senator thank you in case that my baby so my baby is there uh, you should be able to invest your money uh, properly uh, the money of the SSS must be invested in uh, uh, the best uh, returns. Uh, so it's not exactly a dire situation as you point out because una -una, uh, we're not just going to intervene and stop you, stop the collections, but it also behooves you to make sure that uh, the money is invested. And I know you're doing that, right? Yes, Mr. Okay. Senator. Yes, uh, may I know who's speaking, please? Uh, Mr. Senator, this is again Baby Ignacio. Oh, yes, Baby. <laughs> because I saw the lady with the glasses raising her hand. I thought uh, she was the one. And also Mr. Maronilla. Go ahead, Baby. Uh, yes, Mr. Senator, we're trying to our very uh, best to do the uh, right and proper investment um, despite the pandemic last year in 2020 and our strategic plans for 2021. We're also trying to improve our collection efficiency, uh, which is needed very badly badly to increase our contribution, both in um, co uh, collection, both in contribution and in loan payments, Mr. Senator. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, uh, Mr. Maronilla, you recognize. Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, since we're talking about different sectors a while ago, no, I would just like to, we're particularly particularly concerned about the micro, small, medium enterprises, which we all know comprises about 90-95% of, uh, of our economy. Um, the main reason why we are pushing for this deferment, at least not at this time, at least not within the next six months or a year, is because we are concerned about these uh, micro, small, medium enterprises, Mr. Chen. 99%. That's all. Thank you. With the medium, yes, it's 99% with the medium enterprises. Yes. Uh, uh, rest assured that uh, uh, we are also thinking about that, and especially uh, my colleague, Secretary uh, Senator Villanueva, uh, who's a champion of the labor. Uh, sector of our country. Yeah, and, uh, so he can have a slogan now when he runs for the election, like I do. <laughs> but uh, no, really, uh, levity aside, he really is very sincere about that. We are very sincere about uh, we're not in, we're not, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, thinking, we're not uh, ignoring the plight of our uh, 
especially the small and medium enterprises, uh, rest assured that we'll take care of that as well at any time. Uh, and you can always come to me as chairman of the government corporations if you want to make some amendments on how we can better their lives uh, uh, through SSS or GSIS. Uh, I don't want to put it here now, but I'm also thinking, I wonder uh, if uh, you may start thinking that you might have to uh, eventually have one uh, one one uh, insurance company for the whole country, like SSS and GSIS joining together. I don't know whether it's timely, but I think uh, you should uh, start coming out with a position paper, which I would appreciate uh, from SSS because GSIS uh, uh, appears to have uh, uh, it all wrapped up because they have higher premiums. But uh, properly explained to the public, I think uh, we must learn that insurance is uh, one of the best ways to cushion off these economic uh, upheavals that, uh, that occur. So let's start thinking about that, maybe. Uh, I hear you, Mr. Senator. And find a way uh, to talk, talk with yes. Uh, so, uh, so I'm sorry. You, you agree with it? I, I, uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm saying you, you hear me, and if you hear me, then I yes, I appreciate yeah. something uh, like a position paper on the matter, looking ahead, moving ahead. All right, because uh, I, I, yes. I want to make yes, sure yes. that uh, we have uh, uh, to borrow a civil code phrase in succession. We want to have the legitimes of our workers in government and the private sector enhanced and preserved. So if there are any more comments, uh, uh, I think uh, Senator Villanueva will now uh, move so that we can uh, approve this uh, as amended and we can now proceed to the uh, plenary, uh, if that's okay with everyone. Yes, that will be my motion, Mr. Chairman. And I move that we uh, approve this on the uh, committee level so that we can bring this in the plenary subject to the uh, uh, discussions uh, made uh, a while ago. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 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 no objections to it, so we consider it uh, proof that it will go to the plenary. I would like the SSS to make sure that you s well, we have your presentation, and if you have any questions, please, uh, please open up your uh, your folks to us so that we can ask, especially when we prepare to go to plenary. At the meantime, I thank all of you. Next time, try to reduce the load. There are so many of you, and uh, uh, which uh, uh, it's taking away from very valuable government uh, working time. Uh, uh, thank you very much. And uh, all of you individually, Marami Salamat Senyo, may God bless us all. And uh, Joel, uh, Senator Villanueva, you are, you are our pastor. May our Lord Jesus bless us all. Will you, you say amen to that thank as well? You. Thank you. God bless you more, right. Mr. Chairman. Amen. God bless you the most right now. I think you need it because you're a young man. You are. You have to have a better future. Thank you all very much, and I know you'll have a better future. God bless all of you. Thank you all for your Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.